Today we are going to talk about the deception in the end time church. There is many deception in this end time church. We are going to talk about those things today. Don't forget to touch the subscribe button right now or click to follow button depending on the platform you are watching me right now and join me together let us save lives by sharing this message to many people to see it as a child of god share this message let's join hands together to save lives hallelujah so today we are going to talk about this message called the deception in the end time church amen deception in the end time church there is that deception that's going on in the church today called spiritual work spiritual work i want to save as many that the lord through me will save before we return back to eternity bible said that we should look unto jesus the author and finisher of our faith that is to say that anything we did not see jesus did anything we did not see in jesus we should not try to do it that is to say that jesus is our role model that every preacher every church of christ on earth should imitate and walk just like jesus did Jesus do this spiritual work that is going on in the church these days? What is spiritual work? In the realm of the spirit, only three things have power in that realm of the spirit. Three forces that control spiritual realm. I am talking about the realm of God. I am not talking about the demonic realm. I'm talking about what you will see. You will know that the result is from God Almighty. Because as I said, that devil has power to command the result. Satan has power to give us result in any area we need it. So a true Christian is the one that goes beyond the result and go for the true reality of the scripture. As I said, any child of God, anybody that wants to serve God based on result will worship either. Anybody that want to follow true living God on the area of result, based on the result, we worship idol. Every spiritual being has power to command material things. Every spiritual being has power to give us result in every area we need it. But there is one thing that any spiritual being cannot give to us. And that is what we must look after. You remember what Jesus said? Jesus appeared to John at Patmos in the book of Revelation chapter 13 verse 13 and Revelation chapter 16 verse 13 and Jesus began to tell John that on the last day the area devil will use to deceive people on the last day the area Satan will function well mightily the force the power and the deceptive means of the wicked in the end time jesus pointed the area of miracle jesus pointed the area of healing jesus pointed the area of science and wonder and the bible said that through those things he will deceive many people and jesus said to john that even that beast will command a wound to be healed instantly and when people see this kind of miracle they will follow the beast but we understand the, the main reason why people follow God Almighty. People that really want to serve Almighty God, they are not serving Him based on material things. They are not serving Him based on financial blessing. They are not following Him based on miracles. They are not following Him based on science and wonder. They are not following Him based on what they can receive from Him. But they follow Him on one area. In the book of John chapter 6 from verse 68, Gospel of John chapter 6 verse 68 That day many people left Jesus Many of Jesus disciples ran away from Jesus They don't want to follow him again And Jesus turned to the twelve and said to them Won't you join them? Look at what Peter said in verse 68 John chapter 6 verse 68 John said to Jesus To whom shall we go to? For you are the one that have the word of eternal life 
Bible said money is a defense and wisdom also is a defense. So two of them. But the excellency of wisdom is that wisdom giveth life to them that find it. That is after providing material things on earth. We are talking about the true God Almighty. We are talking about the Almighty God. After giving a man material things, he will go ahead and give him eternal life. But all these ones, we can get cars, we can get material things, we can get those things. At the end of the days, we lose our eternity. This thing called spiritual work is really going on in the body of Christ this end time. The other day, there was a church that was telling his mem- her member and said, when you are coming to church, make sure you buy one bottle, buy one bottle of Minara. He, he, she decided to tell them the particular brand. I don't want to mention. It is, she decided to tell them the particular brand they should buy when they are coming. And for that program to be special, that the Lord will want to use that Minara to make their life to be sweet. Amen. But this is a deception because I did not see God using Minara. It's a deception. Certain though that they are receiving result, they may be getting result, but that result is questionable because we must try to understand it. Is it truly from Almighty God that provide this result? Because not only God that give result, Satan also give result. Another day, one minister was telling his member and said, when you are coming to so, so, so day or program, make sure you come with the right plantain ripe banana sorry come with a ripe banana there is an instruction god gave him to carry out with the ripe banana sometimes you begin to hear one church decided to tell member oh this program will be a wonderful program when you are coming buy native pots that pot they're using for sacrifice carry it to church so there is something that is a mystery holy ghost want to use it to conduct can you see deception can you see satan operating in the church in the name of almighty god Sometimes they tell them, one couple went to a church, when they are returning back, they came back with two sticks, two cans, and they were asking, what happened? They said, oh, when they are praying, they will be flogging it on the ground, they will be flogging their enemy, they are flogging their enemy when they are doing those things. All these things are deception in a higher way. Because people discover that it is the area that people cherish. It is what sons of men, children of men like to hear these days. Because this end time, nobody wants to hear the true faith of gospel. Nobody wants to hear the real Bible. Nobody is, everybody is tired of hearing what God said. Because of that, many preachers, a lot of preachers, they come with different forms. Because they know that you will love what they will present to you. And they are deceiving you at the end. But in the realm of the spirit, three things. Three forces that control heavenly realm. Three forces that control heavenly realm. Number one is the name of the Lord. That is Jesus' name. Number two is the blood of Jesus. Number three is the word of God. Three forces that control heavenly realm. I'm going to discuss about it on my next video. I'm going to talk about these three forces that control heavenly realm. That is the realm of God. But we are focusing mainly on the errors in the body of Christ. This thing called deception, this thing called spiritual work in the church is the highest deception I ever see. A sister was telling me she went to one particular ministry. The prophet decided to charge her to buy money to buy goods. This sister provided money to buy goat. They bought the goat. They killed the goat. They told the sister to wear to, to, to wear white, I mean red wrapper. They used that red wrapper. She start tie red wrapper. Remove her clothes and they used the blood of the goat and sprinkle all over her body. Told her to go enter the church with the back. This is not church. This is a cultic place. It's not church. Remember, there is no more magician on the street these days. All of them have become pastors. All of them have become prophets. All the magicians I used to see in those days, they are now general overseers. They are now prophets. They are now apostles. They are now miracle workers because, uh, because magic is no longer paying. They say that it's church. That is where the whole money ends. And the all magicians, they now end up being a preachers. They all of them carry big Bible on the pulpit. That is why time has come when not everything you hear on the pulpit, you will say, Amen. 
I know a lot of people say, Oh, man of God, why are you focusing talking against preachers? I'm not talking against preachers, but I'm trying to save my brothers and sisters who are hearing the word of God now, who that after the, everything they do on earth, if they make mistake, they will go to hell, they will not come back again. So now you see a lot of people that are tired of serving God, that are tired of going to church. If you can listen to me now, you'll be delivered from all this force, all these pastors and preachers, all these satanic preachers and satanic prophets that have been released these days, causing harm to the body of Christ, making people to run away from Jesus instead of them coming to Jesus. And if you can listen to me now, you discover that that little money you have in your pocket, you can use it to make investment in your business. A brother was telling me and said, Pastor, I lost my boutique, I lost my job in the hand of one prophet in the because of so 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 place. A sister was telling me and said, Pastor, I lost my fridge. She, she they, they gave her a message in such a way that she carried her fridge and so it as a seed. A lot of people lost their money they are using to do business. Many of them lost their home. Many of them sold their land and brought the home money. Not because God led, it, led them to do it. Not because it is by the leading of the Holy Ghost. But because of deception. The higher realm of deception of preachers. They ended up living a miserable life. They ended up living a sorrowful life. But the Lord did not want you to live a sorrowful life. I met a woman the other day. I look at that woman, I look at the calendar on her wall. I ask her, is it where you are worshipping God? She said, yes. I say, live there, God is not there. She said, no, God is there. Oh, that man of God can do miracles, he can do signs and wonders, he can do this. Until the time, the sister, they ended up wretched her. They ended up collecting all that she had. She had nothing. And that was the time she stopped going to that place called church. But it's not church. Because every true church add to your life, they didn't remove. So any ministry, any church that keep on removing from you, not adding to you, is not really the church of Christ. And I make sure you share this message to many people. Share this message so that everybody will have access to this word of God. Everybody must hear this truth so that we'll be saved. Am I saying that giving is not good? No, giving is good. I advise you to give for the work of God to move forward. You have to give in that particular ministry. You have to sow that wonderful seed for the gospel to be preached. But make sure that every giving you are giving is from your heart that nobody persuades you and nobody forces you and nobody tell you what to give. Every true giving must be from the genuity of your love for God and your faith you have in God. And no preacher have the power to tell you what to give. You are the one to choose what to give so that when you give it, you know you are giving it to Almighty God. And when you give to Almighty God, oh, definitely, harvest will be massive. Make sure you watch the next episode of this message. I am dropping now. Make sure you watch the next episode and the Lord will bless you. Don't forget to drop your comments. God bless you.